Hi Capricorns, thank you for viewing me today. Welcome in and welcome back to Searchlight Tarot. My name is Elena. I am doing your general reading. This is going to be good for all placements for the beautiful sign of Capricorn, for the collective. Sun, rising, moon, Venus, whatever resonates best for you. I'm getting some cards right now. This is the Shaman's Dream Oracle. I'm going to get your current energies. This is going to be a big reading. We are on the day of the lunar eclipse in Taurus. It is a time of change towards abundance. All the readings have been saying that change is coming towards the things we want in life for abundance. Whether it be a shift in direction, a new way of viewing something. But right now, let's look at your current energies for the sign of Capricorn Spirit Guides. Thank you. Current energies for Capricorns. This reading is for thank you. current energies for the sign of Capricorns. Thank you. Anything else? No, they gave me two beautiful cards. I see. And it's amazing, two beautiful cards, Capricorns. Current energies, a few cards under the deck. Deep quiet meditation and stillness because things around you right now are closing meaning chapters are over from the past so new beginnings can come in if you've been feeling lately that you've been in a quiet energy of realizing that there's things in your life that need change i feel that you've been letting a lot of things go so doors can close if you have been a little withdrawn lately, looking at situations in your life, it's because you're closing doors. The two cards they gave me is the Death Devil. Telling me there's a big energy around you right now, Capricorns. This card is the Death Devil moving out of stagnation. And the other card they gave me is because you guys got the Horseman, the Herald of Change. I told you. Now I know what I'm feeling because I meditate and cleanse before I come on camera. This lunar eclipse is making everyone close doors because this Taurus lunar eclipse in Scorpio season is telling people to shift out of something, shed an old you to go towards the things you want, towards abundance. Everybody right now, as of today, is going to start to have a lot of epiphanies because where you're going, Capricorns, is you're moving out of stagnation, the dust devil. You're coming out of it. And you're going towards the herald of change, a big change in your life for the things you want to come into fruition. So if you've been in a quiet energy lately, feeling like you've been really analyzing the things in your life, it's only because you're closing a lot of doors. If that sounds like something you've been going through, it's only because you're coming out of stagnation and get ready Capricorns, you're going to be on your horse going towards change, massive change for happiness. All right, you guys, that was so easy for me to start off with, and I hope it resonated with you because I'm going to look at your recent past now. The recent past is the window. There's messages here. I'm going over here. I never know who's under these decks if you've never viewed me. I have the Knight of Air uh, going after something with a new view, a new way of thinking about something. I take a few cards. Six of Wands about the things in life you wanted to have a victory with, and you had to learn something about strength and courage. Now, you know, Leo strength and courage is big energy about coming into an energy of grace, generosity, lion heart, about going after something with a new viewpoint, being determined to go after it so you can have victories in your life. But I am going to look. Let's see. I will shuffle. Let the cards fly out as they may. Recent past for Capricorns. What do I need to see? Why are these here in their current energies? Recent past for Capricorns. Please. Thank you. Anything else you'd like to show me for the sign of Capricorns? Recent past. Thank you, Spirit Guides. Anything else I need to see? Recent past for Capricorns. Thank you. Anything else? Thank you. Perfect. The big card that flew out and it's the only one up is you were in judgment mode. Big energy. Wow. You were looking at everything behind you recently about the things that have not been serving you. Uh, it's a big energy. This is a big major arcana telling me that recently behind you, you were in big review of your life and the people and things that were in it. Telling me that you had been in that energy probably for quite a while. Uh, it's the whistleblower on the things and people in your life that just aren't serving you anymore. And I feel that right now you guys are closing the doors. It's like 
chapters are over. Underneath that is the Seven of Cups, the choices you've made. And the Seven of Cups is about options, choices, decisions we've made with love. I feel you are in big review of the things that you chose, the things that you wanted, the things that didn't work out. You started looking at everything that you felt were bad, cho bad choices, bad options, bad decisions, because with judgment here, it's telling me you started releasing everything. Two eights, I have to take, um, oh my God, three eights in a row because they're all lined up. Eight of wands, things kept flying in at you to push you to realize there's things in your life that weren't making you happy anymore. The eight of cups telling me that it once made you happy, but things kept flying at you, Capricorns, to make you realize that you didn't want those things anymore. And then the eight of swords, which is something that got you caught up in your head. This is a card about being trapped in fear, but I feel recently behind you, you got the will and determination to go after something you truly wanted. That was your wish because you saw the truth and clarity of things. Sorry, I just, I just had to keep going. I don't know why, but now here we go. I don't see any of them, but here we are. King of Swords is in reverse. Two of Cups is sideways. Page of Cups. Two of, page, two of Cups, Page of Cups. That's love energy. And the two of cups are about connections with love. The people that we had connections with love with. Page of cups is telling me that you started coming into an energy of realizing that there were situations in your life that always made you feel a little upside down about your own truth, about the visions you had. You had to come back into an energy because you were handed the ace of swords and I saw judgment. You started seeing the truth about everything in your life that you had to release so you could re resurrect new things around you right now. I feel that you just came into an energy of really looking at the things you've chose with love. Like, why did I choose that? Yeah, it made me happy before, but I don't want it anymore. Two cards left. I have the three of cups in reverse. A lot of love energy. Last card they gave me coming into your current energies is you started claiming your personal power, the seven of wands. Three of Cups in reverse is telling me that the things that weren't coming together for you anymore, and I feel you got bored and tired of certain situations in your life, and you started realizing it's time for me to get my power back. It's time for me to fight for something that I do want. Because what I feel right now around you is with the closing door and the herald of change, you have realized that there's situations in your life that they once made you happy, but you're not attached to them anymore. And I feel that right now you've been in a quiet energy of looking at certain situations and realizing that a door has to close so this big herald of change can come in for beautiful, abundant new beginnings because the universe is here to push you towards it. Because this lunar eclipse is all about going in new beginnings towards abundance and happiness. Let's look at what's coming in for you now, Capricorns, because that was beautiful. When I first saw judgment, I was like, oh, hit home with me. <laughs> you guys are my moon. So yeah, I have been in a lot of review, a compassionate review of my past. And right now I am closing doors. So Capricorns, if that's hitting home with you, let's look at what's coming in for you. Who do I want to use for my beautiful Capricorns? I see the psychic tarot cards and that's what I'm going with. I don't know who's under the deck. Oh, I swear. I do not know who's under these decks, you guys. I know you guys like, yeah, yeah, I really don't. I got 25 decks in front of me. The waiting game. Here comes change telling me that there's something that is about to go through the hourglass and it's your life for new, beautiful change. A lot of opportunities are going to come flying in at you in the next few weeks to few months. This is prosperity begins. Look at all these opportunities coming in at you for happiness, for big change. I'll put them back in. Spirit wants me to tell you, patience, Capricorn, patience. Let something work out how it must because when the wheel is showing up, it's telling me that everything is about to change because it's all going to align in your favor and play out in your favor for new, beautiful change. Spirit guides, thank you. Let's look. Let's see what pops out. Strongest incoming energies for my beautiful Capricorns in the next few weeks. It's going to start rolling in fast right after tonight. It, it's just these energies are just going to start flying in. For Capricorn, strongest incoming energies. Thank you, Spirit guides. Next week to two weeks. For Capricorns. What do you want to show me? Thank you. Strongest incoming energies for the sign of Capricorns. What do I need to see for Capricorns? Thank you. Wow, I swear they just take them out of my hand. They gave me four beautiful cards underneath the deck. 
I have the Empress. It's the fertility card telling me that you're about to give birth to a lot of new things, Capricorns, of abundance. This is a big card. And when I see the Empress, that is telling me that everything is about to give birth birth of abundance, the things that you've been planting, the things that you've been nourishing. There's something that you need to trust and it's your solar plexus chakra telling me that it's an inner gut telling you to go which direction to go, to trust in yourself, to believe in yourself, that everything that you've been nurturing is about to come into abundance and spirit wants me to tell you to never lose hope. Hold on to hope. Listen to your gut. Know what you deserve because something is coming in to fruition. Oh, Capricorns, that's beautiful. Let's look though. I have disruption. Spirit is telling me there's things coming in for you to disrupt your energies because spirit wants me to tell you, you need to choose wisely from the things that you've learned from before. Because abundance wants to come in towards you, Capricorns. But there's something coming in for you to disrupt your life. And Spirit wants to remind you to keep your finger and your eyes in the sun. The power of positive thinking. Remember where you've been. But Spirit wants me to tell you to look where you're going. Because you're going to a place of a lot of new things, of abundances. The sun is here and the finger is pointing at the sun. They want me to tell you to thrive through the power of positive thinking. Never lose hope on what you want because everything you've been nurturing is about to be harvested. There's things in your life to disrupt your energies so we can break them up to bring a new Capricorn together. The next card they gave me is destiny, telling me that there's a lot of energies coming in for you Capricorns to connect everything so everything can come into fruition. The people that are coming into your energies in the next few weeks to few months are all going to play a part in everything you are about to harvest. Oh, hold on to hope. Never lose it. Keep your eyes in the sun, the power of thriving through the power of positive thinking. And remember where you've been because the last card they gave me, looking back at that old building, have a book in your hands. This is the card of wisdom. Spirit is telling me you've learned a lot, Capricorns, and now it's time for you to move on to a new book, a new chapter. You're going into a new realm of new abundances, new chapters, new beginnings. You're not going back here. You've learned a lot. This chapter is closed. The door is closed. They want you to remember where you've been, and Spirit wants me to remind you, and look where you're going because you're about to bring something into fruition and everything is about to connect all the right people, all the right things. They're all a part of your new destiny. New, it's been your destiny all along, but I feel you had to go through something to learn something about yourself that just wasn't serving you anymore. No matter how many chances you gave it, you close the door. You have judgment and closing door. It's telling me you let it go. You had a compassionate review of your past and now spirit is saying, it's harvest time, Capricorns. It's harvest time. Keep your eyes in the sun and keep that star of hope. Never lose it because it's going to pull it all in. Beautiful reading today. I am going to get some messages from my beautiful Capricorns from Spirit Gods. I'll roll into some angel messages and then love crossing at the end. Capricorns, that was a beautiful reading. You're about to come into a lot of abundances. Everything you have been planting and nurturing is about to be harvested. All right, let's get some messages for you. I'm going right here. It's going to tie this whole reading together, and it's what spirit guides want to say. Temper is in the end of the deck. Beautiful Sagittarius energy. I have the chariot, and then the two of swords. Choose wisely. The two of swords is a crossroad asking me to tell you what is going to serve you for your highest good. Get the will and determination, follow your intuition, and be determined to move around obstacles to get what it is you want in life for victory and success. Balance and blend and everything will play out in your favor. Temperance is all about that. It's about patience. The angel temperance. Everything is going to work out for you. Messages for Capricorn. They want you to trust your intuition, get a lot of will and determination and go after what you want. King of love. Eight of Wands, Destiny, 
and your whole way of thinking about something is about to shift the page of swords. The page of swords is a new way of viewing something, a new way of looking at something, but there's a lot of things flying in at you. This is what spirit wants to say, and it's part of your destiny. The eight of wands is a beautiful omen, you guys. It's eight things flying in at you. Beautiful things are going to keep flying in at you to change pieces of your destiny to get to the place of the empress. I feel like it. I feel like spirit wants to say everything is about to be uh, harvested, Capricorns. Remember where you've been and now let's look where you're going because it's beautiful. Spirit guides, messages for my Capricorns. What messages today for Capricorns? If you can tell Capricorns anything today about this reading, what messages do you have for the sign of Capricorns? Thank you. Oof. Anything else? Thank you for the sign of Capricorns. Wow. Oh, beautiful. Messages. Your viewpoint on something is about to shift the page of swords. It's a new way of thinking about something. It's a new vision. They want you to choose things wisely. The seven of cups. You guys, it's the same energies and you're coming. It, this is telling me that your viewpoint on the choices you've made from the past <clears throat> is shifting. You're going to start to choose everything in the right way because you have the emperor. When the emperor shows up, that is telling me that you're coming into a lot of power taking charge of everything in your life. And this is the conqueror telling me you're going to have this power to conquer something. Spirit is telling me for you to remember where you've been, look where you're going in a new way. And you're coming back into this power of authority. You're just going to take charge of situations in your life. It's like nothing is stopping you. Spirit wants me to tell you there's messages here. Everything in your life is about to change the wheel of fortune. The wheel of fortune is luck and right timing. Something is being aligned for you so you could harvest it in the very near future. Because the card with that, you guys, is Taurus, the king of pentacles. You guys, I felt these energies telling me that you're coming into the king of abundance. Something in your life is about to shift. The wheel of fortune is luck and right timing, but you need to choose things wisely come back into an energy of the emperor taking charge of situations in your life because those old doors they're closed three of cups everything wants to come together for you with love the tree of life but spirit wants me to tell you wisdom remember where you've been and spirit wants you to tap into an inner light and look where you're going the hermit is showing up telling me that you have an inner knowledge Everything wants to come together for you in the tree of love and life. Tap into an inner light of wisdom. You guys have it right here. Oh, is this a coincidence? Yeah, I, I don't I don't think so. Okay, here we go. Page of Wands, they want you to hold on to something with hope. The star. Page of Wands is telling me there's a lot of new things coming in for you. A lot of new eager energy. Spirit wants you to get in that energy of going after something. Take a leap. Do something different. Stay in the energy of hope and faith. Whatever you've been through, you are healed. Get ready for a lot of new adventures, Capricorns. You're going there. Oh, this is magnificent. It's like one of the best readings I've given all week. Four of Swords telling me, lay down your heart, lay down your mind. If you feel a little tired, get more downtime because during your downtime, Spirit wants me to tell you, you're going to have a big power of manifestation. Sometimes, you know, I will tell you in that twilight zone when you're just about to fall asleep, that is the greatest time to manifest. Like it's an energy around you, spirit is saying, you will have this power to create everything you want during more rest time, more rejuvenation time. This is an energy coming in for you telling me you have the power to create everything you want. You guys got the king of pentacles with the wheel of fortune, the magician, the star, wisdom oh my goodness i got big strength and courage coming in i have the knight of air and i have one beautiful card left the message spirit is saying have the strength and courage to go after everything with a new way of thinking the knight of air is the knight of communication a fast forward way of thinking you are coming into an immense amount of strength and courage 
to go after everything with a new view. Oh, I just feel like nothing stopped me. Capricorns, Capricorns, I'm going after my new life and nothing stopped me because you got the Empress, the King of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune, the Star. And Spirit wants me to tell you, be determined to get it. The Queen of Wands is a big energy. This is the Queen of Fire, the Queen of Determination, the Queen of Magic, the Queen of Attracting all the right people. Spirit is saying you have this energy all around you. All you have to do is use it. Use your wily charms, Capricorns, to pull in all the right people and you will have it all. I feel like Spirit is saying everything is before you. You have done the inner work. You have released the past, the compassionate review. I saw judgment, closing door, wheel of fortune twice. Everything is aligning for you towards abundance. I feel that Spirit is saying, get the downtime you need. Because when you're during your downtime of rest and rejuvenation, you're going to be creating. You're going to be manifesting. And when we throw out there what we truly want, it is going to be delivered. That's beautiful. All right, let's look at some angel messages. Capricorns, that was one, that was so right to the point. I do feel spirit wants me to remind you to hold on to hope and faith because you had the star and you did have hope in your incoming energies. They want me to remind you to choose wisely from the things that you've learned from before. Keep your eyes in the sun, the power of positive thinking. You got the star. It's all lined up for you. Everything in your life is about to change for abundance. King of Pentacles, it's the Taurus Lunar Eclipse. All right, you guys, a few messages from the Spirit Gods, Angel Cards today. It's going to tie this reading together, Capricorns. It always does. And then I'll do Love Crossing if you've been dealing with someone. For my beautiful Capricorns today, Spirit Guides. If you can tell Capricorns a few cards, two to three cards, what would you like to tell Capricorns today about this reading? What messages? do you have for Capricorns? Thank you. One or two more cards for the sign of Capricorns. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Let's see. Oh, this is nice. <laughs> oh my God. Look at all these cards. Capricorns. This is what the angels want to say to you today. And we're going to start. They're all in the order. It's a big one. I got the four of Ariel. And now Ariel, Ariel has something to say to you. When you give, you also receive. Be in resistance to change. Extremes in how you save or spend money. Okay, that resonates with me just a little bit. Probably more than a little bit, but I'll listen. They gave you the nine of Raphael, Capricorns. Angel Raphael gave you the nine. Make a wish. Dreams become reality. A joyful time of life. Oh, I can't. Sorry, you guys. I'm, I'm good. I know you guys are like, oh, there she goes. I can't help it. Make a wish. Have hope. Have faith. All right. Next card they gave you is card number 12, perspective. There's a better way. Pause for reflection and insight than dare to be different. I just feel like they're telling me to go after what you want with a new way of thinking. There's a better way. You know, uh, dare to be different. Go after what you want. I have the seven of Ariel. Angel Ariel gave you the seven. You have invested wisely. Have patience and wait for the harvest. It's coming. Review your progress and make plans for your next endeavors, Capricorns. Oh my God, this is a beautiful reading today. They gave you the king of Gabriel. Wow, Angel Gabriel gave you the king. Keep your eyes on the big picture. Leave the details to others. Experience that leads to success. Genuine concern for others. Like, I just feel like, remember where you've been and now look where you're going. Keep your eyes on the big picture that you want. The last card they gave you is card number 16 change your life you got change coming in your life is about to change i saw the wheel of fortune a sudden revelation that offers freedom break free of procrastination embrace these opportunities that change is about to bring come on capricorns that just tied everything together if that reading did not resonate with you well that wasn't your reading but I feel this is a big message for a lot of Capricorns out here. I hope it helped you. 
beautiful change of abundance. Embrace the opportunities that change is about to bring. Many blessings to you. I am rolling into love crossing now. And if you are in a harmonious relationship or not dealing with anyone, those are not going to be your energies. I want to thank you for your love and support. Have a beautiful Saturday, an amazing lunar eclipse day, and get ready for big change. Embrace it. Beautiful things. All right, you guys, thank you. I'm going to go on and on and on. Have a beautiful day. I'll see you next time. For those of you dealing with someone, I'm going to grab one glorious deck. I'm going to do the right away. Love crossing is the strongest love crossing energies. Meaning they may or may not be all your person. Some energies can be moved around. I go by how I feel and the cards. Card under the deck. Oh, someone who's trying to claim their personal power about a solid relationship, a solid beginning. And I have Big Leo the Sun. Big Leo again, the King of Wands. All right, well. I feel like this is someone who wants to fight for something bigger and better with you or they want something bigger and better. Uh, that King of Wands is a very charismatic king. Why do I feel like it's someone who wants something from you, Capricorn, and they aren't going to give up? I was going to say ain't, but I just feel something here. Strongest love crossing energies my Capricorns have been dealing with. Thank you. They want a solid new beginning. Love crossing my Capricorns have been dealing with spirit guides. Thank you. What would you like to show me? Love crossing. What do they want? They want an Ace of Cups because they feel something between the two of you is not a completion. They're tired of the stubborn energy between the two of you. Nobody giving in. And here comes the Knight of Fire. Now that Knight of Fire is a very flashy night. It rolls in, it rolls out. But who's under the deck? I got you. I'm telling you, somebody... Look at this is a person who wants to get to the light at the end of the tunnel with you, Capricorns. You're under their deck. I shuffled. You're showing up right here. This is somebody who right now in their energies is they just want to get to the light at the end of the tunnel with you. They want to find a place of a compromise of peace, happiness. They want things to be balanced between the two of you, justice. But they get caught up in their head out of fear. They're afraid that you're not going to take a chance with them because they want to take a leap of faith and they want to come back into some type of loving energy between the two of you, the Queen of Cups. But this Knight of Wands is a very, very hot night, meaning it's a night on a mission. And, and the Knight of Wands to me is someone who likes to come flying in, but then they can just go flying out. Because I feel it's a person who's getting tired of a stubborn game between the two of you and they don't want something to be over the Ten of Swords. They do not want it to be over. What they want, Capricorns, is a new beginning of love with you. They want to take a leap of faith. They want to start over with my beautiful Capricorns. But whoever you've been dealing with, I feel, has been in an energy of my way or no way. But I feel that they're starting to realize But by their own stubborn energy, nothing is moving forward. Oh my God, I can't believe I just said that. The Queen of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune for a reunion. The Three of Cups could be third party reunion, but I feel it's somebody who wants a reunion. They're determined to have one, the King of Fire. I don't know who this is, but this is someone who wants something to change between the two of you. They're determined to have one. They want something between the two of you to be healed with love and they want things to play out in their favor. But there's a lot of fear here about something they're afraid. Can, is this really over? Can this be really over? They're really in their head about it. They don't, they don't wanna lose you Capricorns. They do not wanna lose you. I don't care if you're the cross watcher and you're yelling at me. I know what I'm feeling. Now, I'm going to look at their intentions towards you in the next few weeks, if any. Because I feel this is a person who is so afraid of losing you. Here comes the Eight of Wands. Here comes someone who wants a victory. Here comes Temperance. And here comes somebody who's still holding back out of spite. Oh, poor you. King of Pentacles. All right, let's just shuffle. See. Eight of Wands is someone who wants to fly in and talk to you about something. I feel they want to get something more structured between the two of you, but they're still holding back out of spite. Like they're like this is a game of wills with this person in you. Who's gonna budge? Who's gonna Capricorn ain't gonna break that Taurus energy? So if I had to say it's between you and a Taurus, <laughs> I'm not saying you're dealing with a Taurus, but Taurus is gonna win on that one. That's the bowl. <laughs> so, sorry. You know, you guys are the code, but <laughs> Tourists can be really stubborn, but let's see. But I think it's somebody who really loves you and wants to move things forward. Love intentions towards... You guys, that was the Eight of Wands. Love intentions 
towards Capricorns for the next few weeks. Strongest. Love crossing intentions towards Capricorns. Next few weeks, Spirit Guides. Thank you. What else do you want to show me? Thank you. Anything else? Ooh. I think I had a flipper. That's the Eight of Wands over there. Told you someone's coming flying in. Oh, I got the Five of Wands. Oh, this is somebody just... Uh, uh, five of Wands in the center of the deck. The Six of Wands under the deck. Four of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Cups. You know, it's so weird because... I just kind of feel whoever you've been dealing with, and I always go by how I feel, is realizing by their own energy of realizing that something can't work out here or they want it their way. It's left, this, it's left them in this predicament of realizing that they're gonna to have to start to put work in this if they want something to work out. I feel this person can't stop thinking about you. I feel they think about you all the time. They aren't gonna give up. I'm just saying that. All right, let me get my eight of wands that flew. Oh. Here it is, you guys. It's incoming. This person's coming in towards you. I, I just know it. Here comes Scorpio sideways. Oh, shit. Here comes the night of air. Now, if you don't hear from somebody in the next two weeks, well, it's because this person hasn't completely shedded an old cloak yet, but they're, they are determined to come after you. I'm telling you, this person does not want to lose you, they, they, but they still need to come into an energy of transformation. Two of Pentacles is sideways. It's like one day they're in, one day they're out. They're coming in. I just know they are. Here comes the king of love. I love my Capricorns. I just feel this person. I, eight of Wands, Knight of Communication. The Eight of Wands went flying. Tell me it's going to come in fast. This person's rushing in. I got the Wounded Warrior. I got a two sideways. And I have a two swords upright. Listen. This person is realizing by their own wounded energy, nothing is moving forward. I feel in the next few weeks, they're going to start to realize that the only thing that's leaving them at a crossroad is that they're still wounded about something between the two of you. But this card is telling me they're getting ready to jump out of the window. They're going to make a move. They're, 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 they're coming in. They're coming in to tell you how they feel about them. Because I have this giant king of love. That's the king of commitment. That's the king that wants to try to balance something with you. I'm telling you, they're flying in. I got the Eight of Wands, the Knight of Communication, somebody who doesn't want something to be over. They're hoping that something can be changed. They're just all scared. They're all, they're all scarred. They're all scared about their Capricorns, what the Capricorns going to do. But this is someone who wants you to be open to love again, Capricorns. They miss you. They want you back. Now, if this is someone you want nothing to do with, well, that's up to you. They know you're their ultimate happiness. I just feel it's somebody who is realizing that their own immature energy is what keeps creating something that puts them down a rabbit hole of emotion. They're coming in. I got temperance, ten of cups, and then here comes the chariot, the cancer. This is they're coming in. They're just scared because they're realizing you all along, Capricorns, you have been the one, the six of cups. They know you're the shoe that fits. It's their own fear that's creating any movement here, but they're gonna get they're going to get, I was going to say a word, but I won't use it. They're going to get the B-A-L-L-S to come flying in because they love you. They love you. I got the king of love. You, they know you're the one. You're the shoe that's always fit. I don't know. I, I feel this person is realizing they, they, they chose some bad choices and their own stubborn test of the wills with their Capricorn has got them nowhere. They want change and they're rolling in. I can't help it. I saw the way the eight of wands flew. Just tell me they're coming in. All right, you guys, this is what I have for you today. I hope this reading helped you today. You know, I always say if two people truly love each other, they can work anything out with open, honest communication and working together. If this is somebody you don't want back, well, you have a compassionate review of your past. Your door is closing and the Wheel of Fortune with the Empress is rolling in with the King of Pentacles. So good for you, Capricorns. A lot of change, a lot of abundance, and everything is rolling in your favor. Many blessings to you. Thank you for your love and support. I wish you all a beautiful Saturday, an amazing Lunar Eclipse Day, amazing few weeks, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.